and so RPE, you've heard a lot about it. Um, we'll talk more about the model tomorrow. Um, it's a very unique model, five years old, uh, part of the Department of Energy, uh, with the mission, the bold mission, for development and deployment of transformational energy technologies. So we're looking at both this very radical uh, look at technology, at the same time bringing the private sector together. And so we asked two questions. If it works, will it matter? Very much up front. So the, so the whether it fails or not question is really not the one that we use to screen. It's if it potentially works, is someone going to care? Is it transformational? And when we fund, we usually fund three year, three million dollars. Um, what happens at month 37? I think for someone in research, it's a very, very fundamental question that we'll explore a little more tomorrow about how do you have somebody walk to month 37 with you when you are truly at the point where you are Christopher <coughs> Columbus, where you, what you're proposing is impossible. And what you need is both inventors and the private sector to step with you from the impossible to the plausible and to the inevitable. And along the way, you have to change the dialogue about learning and the discontinuity of innovation. And you really have to change the dialogue um, and change what, what historically has been failure. None of us, um, when, we, when we did our academic degrees, wanted to talk about what we failed. We wanted to talk about and write our theses on what we succeeded with. That's usually what got us out the door. Um, but at RPE, we've really embraced the idea that, that we must take big chances and we must actually act quickly on the things that won't work so that we can get on with the things that do work. Life is short, work on what matters, right? And so we've finished 91 projects. Of those, 18 of them have finished before their term. We stopped them. They were not working. And so we've removed that. Those are successes, to Arun's point. They were successes because we recognized what was going on and we stopped doing them. And so failure at RPE is not acting on what you know. And so I leave you with that thought and uh, more tomorrow.